the dog days of summer, and that can mean only one thing. I need to wash this hat because it is filthy, disgusting, and it smells. Sorry, I'm letting my thoughts escape me. What I really meant to say is August, the dog days of summer here, it means we're only weeks away from the return of American Tackle Football. I want to pound the table right now, but I can't because it's going to make loud noises on the microphone. Bust out y'all's eardrums. Everybody's always talking. Who's going to win the SEC? Who's going to be coach of the year? Who's going to win the Heisman? Do you remember that time they tipped the wagon over at Oklahoma? That kind of stuff. You get my drift. But I've got a new talking point that I want to add to the conversation. Wild ass coaches. We got some vibrant coaches in the SEC. Look at Lane Kiffin's Twitter game. Eli Drinkwitz is a pretty quotable guy. Shane Beamer out there flexing. But as Texas and Oklahoma are about to enter the SEC, I think we got to put Steve Sarkeesian in this category as well. That may strike some of you as odd, but this man is like low-key one of the most unhinged people in the college football world, and we don't talk about it enough. Are the Texas Longhorns going to be any good this year? Who knows? I feel like we say it every year, and then they fizzle out, and they're, you know, golfing in January. Steve Sarkeesian is not going off in press conferences. He doesn't have those Twitter fingers, you know. For the most part, he seems like a pretty reserved guy. Brilliant offensive mind. I won't take that away from him. But there have been some wild-ass moments caught on camera involving Steve Sarkeesian that makes me think, like, there's a Russell Crowe unhinged side to this man that I just, I can't take my eyes off of. I want to see what he's going to get caught doing next. You know, he's in the booth picking his own boogers. Picking the boogers is one thing. Eating them is another. All-time lunatic move. But then they're getting ready to play the Alamo Bowl. And we don't know the story about why this person has his hands on Steve Sarkeesian trying to get him to push back. But he just flips his shit all of a sudden. He says, get your fucking hands off me, you motherfucker. Don't touch me again. This guy's just trying to do his job. And <laughs> Steve Sarkeesian's like veins popping out of the neck man it may not be like a fiery press conference right we're not gonna see sark up there like i'm a man i'm 40 kind of shit but like steve sarkeesian is gonna throw a pair of scissors at somebody one of these days 